Hey guys, I feel like I haven't done one of these for ages, but this is a juicy, juicy, juicy haul, people. I'm very excited to share with you some of the goodies that I've bought over the last couple of months. Yeah, I have kind of been a bit spendy, spendy, people, but I love it. And as I always say, get a cup of tea and get comfortable because it's gonna be a long one. So first things first, I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I got from ASOS. These ears are number one. As you can see, you might be wondering why I'm wearing them. I'm wondering why I'm wearing them, but they're super cute. I did a beauty panel with ASOS and um, these were there. And I, from that day, I knew I was gonna get them. I'm gonna link the videos below, guys. If you wanna check those out, the videos that I did for ASOS, which is super cool. Fleur was in it and a couple of other people as well. So you can check those out below. Next, I bought this jumper. It is a wrap. Um, a wrap front jumper. I've been desperately looking for wrap front jumpers because they're a bit sexy, you know. This is a really nice grey and it's like a really nice material. It was quite expensive, I think, for a jumper, but it's worth it. It's really nice and oversized and I can't wait to wear it for like the autumn season. Next up is this jumper here, which is from, it's also from ASOS, but it's actually a new look jumper. Another thing I'm obsessed with are turtlenecks or polo necks. And this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous one. And it was a really good price. So that is that. And then this jumper here, look at this jumper. Mike hates this jumper. He's like, this is a granddad jumper. But I'm like, your granddad must have had style because this is so stylish. I don't know what you guys think. For me, I literally love the pattern that's on this. I think it's such a gorgeous, like, kind of, you know, it's granddaddy. It is actually very granddaddy, but I like that. I think it's on trend. So next, I hit up Primark in Oxford Street. I rarely go to Primark because there's no, no Primarks near to me. But you know what, when you go in there, it's a little bit like ridiculous. It's so ridiculous at the stuff you can get. And yeah, I went a bit crazy. So first thing, I bought another granddad in style jumper, but how cute is this? Like genuinely, there was even a matching skirt, but I couldn't find it, like it was sold out. How cute is this jumper, people? Come on, come on, come on. I'm absolutely in love. I'm just thinking of winter by the fire, hot chocolate, and this. Another one is a cable knit jumper. I love a cable knit jumper. And the funny thing is I couldn't find any in my size, but then they had a size 18. And I was like, you know what? This looks really nice, like when it's oversized. Like I thought so much cuter with like leggings or something to get a really nice oversized cable knit jumper, like this one. Ooh. I then bought another polo neck in a purple. I'm not so sure about this colour now. It looks a bit sickly in the daylight <laughs> when you don't have the lights of the, um, what's it called, of the shop, like glaring, making everything look better than it does. But this is another polo neck. This is like five quid, so we'll see how that goes. Then I bought these, um, I'm, I'm in love with like box t-shirts now. I think they're really flattering. You know, crop tops are a little bit overdone at the moment. So I'm hoping we can all go really boxy so I can hide my stomach. Um, so this was so, so cute. It's, it looks like much more expensive than it was. It was 12 pounds, but this is really good quality. This is a really nice piece. It's in a nice black and white color like this. And then they had another one, which was quite good like dun, dun, dun. I look like a Christmas tree but I liked it I thought this was really cute this gorgeous skirt trust me this is a, a um, knockoff from the Zara skirt but it is a lovely um, what do they call this shape of skirt I have no idea what they call this shape of skirt but I love it I love it in the cream as well they did have a matching top but they had none in my size or a size that I could make work for me this was a dream so obviously there are these trends that always happen like like the pink coat or blue coat or like fur or whatever and so I don't like spending a lot of money on things that are trend because the reality is that that trend is going to be out and by the time you spent 300 pounds on a jacket yeah so that like pink furry jackets are definitely in and Primark had one for 25 quid and I was like, you know what, Patricia, why not? Like, hello, pink furry jacket. There's this blogger that I love, her name's Natasha and Love Vu. She had a look where she had like this pink jacket on. She's just beautiful. She looks so hot and that just inspired me. I was like, yes, pink jacket for me. The final piece I got, which is a classic, is a um, chiffon shirt. If anybody knows me, I love a shirt like this, like all day, every single day. Okay, so guys, the sun has just come out over there, so it might look a bit crazy. But you can see the black shirt, how cute it is. 
So next up are Topshop items. This crop jumper here is from Topshop. They do like these really basic pieces that you can get like one or ten of. And this is just one of their little crop um, jumpers. It's so soft and so cosy. And I've not been wearing much colour, but I saw the red. I was like, you know what? I'm wearing red and it looks really really nice I also bought these trousers which are striped they look gorgeous with a polo neck jumper I did a blog post wearing it I'll link my blog down below with patriciabright.co.uk these are gorgeous they're cigarette trousers and um, they just give me a really nice shape but in the same breath it's not like everything on show next I bought a few jewelry pieces from Urban Outfitters I love their jewelry I think most of my favorite bits of jewelry I've ever had they are actually all from Urban Outfitters so it's this necklace here which has got a little um, clear pendant and a little um, like kind of looks like a coin and then I bought these little bangles they were like three quid, three pounds, and then this necklace here as well. But I'll put them up close so you can get a better look at those. So you guys know Misguided was like literally my favorite. And I, for some reason, I hadn't been on the Misguided site for ages. Went back there, bought the whole shop, literally. I actually had to return some stuff because I got so carried away. I bought like 500 pounds. It's like, no, Patricia, no. I had to stop myself you guys have done that before we've all done that before but um i had to cur cur curtail myself um, but i bought this um polo neck crop jumper i was wearing it in my um never feeling good enough video lots of people were asking about it it is this jumper here i'll link that video below if you haven't caught it yet as well it's so gorgeous and so co cozy very very cropped i need to work with high-waisted trousers and then i bought this gorgeous little shirt you know misguided loves a crop piece there all their items are cropped <laughs> but yeah this shirt here and what i loved about it is that although it's cropped it has this really nice lace pattern on the bottom of the shirt and i just thought it was a really nice elegant piece especially with the like collar i then bought another just a chunky knit jumper which you know looking at this i'm like oh no this isn't misguided this is from um this is from azos hello this is a really nice gray jumper with like a round bottom half and it's like oversized and cute as well. So go ASOS, yay. Continuing on with Misguided, um, this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I have a blog post that should be live now with this item on. I will link it below, but it's so, so gorgeous. It's made of like a faux suede, and this is in like a really nice nudie pink, and it's got little slits at the side, and it also comes with a matching skirt. And what I loved about it is that actually it's not overtly cropped. It's cropped, but not like, hello everyone, here's my stomach and my belly button. Beautiful. And then there is the whole, the new Nicole collection as well from Misguided that everyone is wearing and talking about. It's nice. And I'm sure you can get a couple of wear, a good couple of wears out of it. But um, it's really, really flattering for those of you who want a womanly, sexy figure. Misguided's got so much stuff there that really does like hit that mark. I then also bought another matching two piece set, which is this one here. The top is a really nice crepe top. This is actually really good material that will wash fine like a million times. And it's just this boxy top. And it also comes with the matching boxy skirt that is super cute weirdly enough i found another wrap top as well this is in a black and it's so so beautiful this was really cheap as well but i've already worn it like a million times like it's so so comfortable to wear finally i just bought this little shift dress which is kind of got a um a um, crocodile print on it how nice is that people how nice is that okay it's time for me to take these off okay oh i feel bald without it now <laughs> So some of you might know I have a Just Fab monthly pick as well and this month, this was for October, I got this bag here and what I love about it, it's just one that you can just swing on the side, it's quilted, it's super plain and simple but like it just can fit everything in it. When I saw this on the side I knew that it, it was, it, I knew it was my perfect pick. And then I actually got these as my, se my September pick everybody has been asking me about them i did i did a picture on my instagram everyone's like where are the shoes from where are the shoes from they're just fab people they're just fab and i'm sure they still have them i'll link them below these are my every single day comfortable shoes and make me feel like i look fire 
even where I need. I love them. Next, I just bought a big bag from Zara. I've been really looking for a really good big bag, but one that isn't heavy. Some bags are heavy when you're empty. How are you gonna be heavy and empty? Well, let alone when I put my laptop and everything inside of it. But this bag was is really, really light when there's nothing in it, which means that it stays light even, well, not light, but it's not gonna be really, really heavy like some bags are, which is really annoying. Next, I went to um, um, American Apparel. I really wanted some high-waisted, skinnier mum jeans, and I found them. They've got a really good classic shape. These are them. They're so, so gorgeous, and I like them. People say I've got a short. So I did a really cool project with Reese, and um, I'm gonna link it in the description bar below so you guys can see it. There's so many things I'm linking below. Just check out the description box, okay, people? It's got everything you need. It's got everything you need, okay? Um, but I did a really cool project with the guys at Reese, and it was for their fashion night out, and I basically picked some items that I was able to wear for this shoot that went on their site. So number one, I picked this really gorgeous little um, bag. I love the bag because it's like, I can wear it in the day or in the night. And it's got like gold ha hardware on it. It looks very fancy, but is it too, too much? Loads of people have seen these on me because I've been wearing them literally every single day. It is these beautiful, beautiful leather trousers. When I tell you the level of beauty is real, the level of beauty is real. And finally, I've got this olive leather jacket. I don't think the colour's picking it up as well as it probably should, but this jacket, this was another moment of tears, people. Moment of tears when I saw this leather jacket. Because you guys know, I buy one every year and I have spent probably about maximum 150 pounds on the jacket this one is a little bit pricey but it's one of the jackets that will kind of stay in your closet forever so so glad that they gave this to me and sticking with the theme of coats i have two coats from river island one is this oversized um really long um kind of what do they call this color camel camel colored jacket gorgeous Winter is coming, winter is totally coming. I'm already wearing this, so it's all good, I love it. And then it's also this um, oversized navy blue one with like camel detailing on it. I love the kind of tartan effect that this jacket has. And it's got such a really cute shape as well. It's a really, really good piece. And my buy of all buys are my Steve Madden um, heels. These were also on ASOS. And it's funny, there was an Instagram picture that I saw of this girl. She had amazing, amazing, amazing shoes, right? I reposted it. I was like, on my Instagram, guys, I love these shoes. I want to find them. I was looking for them. Couldn't find them. But then um, I found these, which were basically very, very similar to the style of shoes that I had on my Instagram. So these are my alternative that I'm very, very happy with. Finally, I bought a pair of friends headphones. Sadly, I took them back because they were in the white and I was like, you know what, my makeup's gonna get all over these. But they have this gorgeous, gorgeous pair and I thought to myself, these are beautiful. But I have loads of headphones. So I'm gonna do a giveaway on these guys. I'm gonna do a giveaway on my Facebook and on my Instagram because YouTube is not a good place to do um, giveaways anymore. Sadly, there are people who create fake emails and spam people and tell them they've won um, competition so that they can get access to their email accounts. I'm sorry if that has happened to you, but I am going to do it only on my Facebook and only on my Instagram. So make sure you are following me on those profiles so that I can show you all the details on how to actually um, win it. I will be posting a picture probably on today um, with, with the headphones and I'm going to tell you what I want you to do. So make sure you check that out. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that whole video. I did. I feel like I've not sat down and like done a proper talk like this like it feels so good it feels so good don't know if you've noticed as well i've been doing a lot more videos um oh and my upload day is now going to be a saturday and my midweek videos will either be on a thursday or a tuesday guys okay i realize that everybody needs a day of rest and sundays i need to turn everything off okay people everything needs to be off otherwise the brain is fried but um yeah not everyday internet not everyday internet okay and i love you all and i'll see you in my next video any um, recommendations or anything that you want me to do let me know and yeah thanks for watching guys bye and help myself when it comes the first thing about this that i've realized is that comparison is the thief of joy